Today I'm Gavin Daly from Web Marine and Starfish Catamarans. We're here today on the awesome 3200 Platinum Sports. This is a boat that's been beautifully set up as an offshore sports fisher. It doubles up really nicely with an extended cruiser. It's got a huge three metre beam, carries twin 300 litre fuel tanks, 200 litres of water, powered by the awesome 300 horsepower Yamahas. Let's jump on it. One of the best things about the helm position is the visibility of the boat too. That the helm seat is up nice and high, it gives you great visibility right around the boat. Sliding windows are a standard feature of the forward cabin, uh, port and starboard. Uh, plenty of opening space there, great ventilation for those hot days, uh, as are the two windscreen wipers, port and starboard. Uh, they also come with freshwater wash kits. Tucked away nicely behind the dash pole kit is this huge slide out drawer. Look at the room in that. Great for towels, sheets, pillows, bedding, anything you like. Well, just finishing up in here. Let me go up the room in this uh, step down toilet shower compartment. Electric toilet with holding tank. Uh, we've got a, a fresh water sink again um, with a shower head. Again, hot and cold. A, a sump in the floor to self bail port hole window for some ventilation without taking up too much space in the boat. Tilt steering helm gives you fingertip control, great to change the angle. And the swivel knob on the steering wheel as well, which is very simple to use, gives you great control over the vessel. Uh, good access to your controls, they're very, very comfortable. This particular boat, we've got the Yamaha 300s with the Hellmaster joystick control system, uh, works a treat. We've got a great helm area on this boat as well. Uh, good height, pedestal seat, flip up armrests, nice high backrest on the chair, very, very comfortable. Um, accesses your dash beautifully. Uh, this particular boat, we've got two TZ Touch 12 inch Marunos, uh, 1150, which can accommodate as a dashboard to take the 1150 specifically. Uh, Our C-Zone switching, digital switching system, uh, very, very easy to use, looks great, works well. Uh, we've got autopilot here, fluid camera operation as well, um, good access to the VHF radio, and of course the additional roof hatch above here, pretty cool. We've got a great use of space here with the internal uh, galley unit, uh, soft closed drawers, 240 volt power outlets, uh, 240 volt microwave with inverter, uh, it's a great use of the space, it's a good height, it's easy access, stone bench tops as with all of our tables and benches, uh, the, the, the dinette table is stone, so is the outdoor surgery area, uh, just gives it a nice touch and a nice finish. We've got the dinette area here, um, this particular client's gone for the L-shaped lounge with the passenger seat, you can also do away with the passenger seat and have a longer lounge, uh, just gives a little bit more room for more dining, more dining area, um, you fit three, four, five people on that quite comfortably. Once we move into the, the cabin and dinette area, nice storage area for your gaff. Again, our fresco window opens up nicely, so when you're dining, it brings the outside in beautifully. Food comes straight off the barbecue onto the table. Nice big L-shaped lounge uh, with a drop-down table. There's also an infill cushion that goes over this, um, just to obviously give you a little bit more bedding, a little bit more sleeping area for the kids. Um, you've also got rod storage in the roof. Great to get those Tiagras out of the way. LED down lights, two roof hatches, one above the driver, one above the passenger. They're a good size, gives you great ventilation. And then round to your Fusion Stereo and your GME VHF radio. One of our most popular features and a standard feature of this model is our fresco window. When the weather gets a bit inclement, everything locks away. Really heavy days coming home. Shut the door, turn the stereo on. Great trip home. One of my favourite parts of this boat is the outdoor surf. Great beach area, nice big sink, air hot and cold, great for washing up. Washing up straight off the hook, straight off the slide out bar. Beautifully placed, it's a great height to work with. Got more storage into there. 
another storage area below, which is great for fenders, ropes, things you want to access fairly quickly. More storage below. This is housing your rear, your rear fold up seats as well. So it's great to just get everything out of the way, but still easily accessible. Just to enhance the storage on the boat as well, got this nice gap wrap. Uh, great to get your gaps out of the way, but still easy, easily accessible. Pop straight up in the vertical rod holders here before the action gets underway. Uh, also below we've got the um, electric reel outlets, nice and easy to plug in. Electric reels are straight into your welded rod holders, uh, tough as nails, you'll never break it. Nice battery management switch locker here, easy to access, great to get at when you first get on board. Nice big switches, all the circuit breakers, look at the quality of the wiring there. One of the best features is the boat is this huge walkthrough. Uh, great for accessing the boat, of course, but uh, also great for dragging those big tuna, sharks, marlin, anything you might have. Great access, nice heavy duty door. A couple of rod holders either side. Uh, great for again quick access to your rods from there. Second light bait tank, again with an LED light. And fresh water sink, hot and cold. A couple of huge underfloor kill tanks, self flooding, uh, nice drains around the edge, really well re reinforced under there so you can send a couple of people on there without a problem. Nice out. These are also naturally insulated because our sponsors are all foam filled. We also have a great cutting board here, fully plumbed, it's got an LED light below there so you're not throwing any shade on your cutting board from your rear spotlights, deck lights, uh, built in tuna tubes. Uh, all self-draining, great height to work from. We've also got two light bait tanks, port and starboard. Good size, they've both got LED lights. And we've also got a deck wash outlet over here as well. High pressure salt water deck wash, so great for washing down those decks at the end of the day. Slide out 47 litre Evercool fridge freezer, just tucked in nicely under the sink. Just slides out with the two tabs nice and easily, it just pops back in. Pops away nicely. Nice little rear seat, great for those long days trolling. Um, this particular boat we've got the shore power uh, system wind in through the gunnel here. Um, nice padded side decks. And some additional rod holders. So we've got a couple of vertical rod holders here, which are great for your gaffs, nets, things like that, just need to access quickly when the action starts. Also got a really great side door, well made, nice and solid, easily opens, big beefy hinges, just pops a little bit on that. Nice 